each and every one. I am Maribel A. Bornea and I am the one who assigned to report the theory of DC and Ryan, which is the self-determination theory. So, who is DC and Ryan? So, Edward L. DC is a professor of psychology, director, and co-founder of self-determination theory or the SDT. DC is well-known psychology for his theories of intrinsic and extrinsic motivation and basic psychological needs, which he has been researching for 40 years with Richard Ryan. Speaking of Richard Ryan, he is also a professor at the Institute for Positive Psychology and Education, also a clinical psychologist and co-developer with Edward D.C. of the theory, self-determination theory, or the SDT. And lastly, Ryan is one of the most leading theorists of human motivation and in the ranking or top one in the ranking in the researchers of the field. DC and Ryan are most frequently cited researchers in psychology and social sciences, both written numerous articles in the field of psychological well-being and many more. And they are the authors of the intrinsic motivation and the self-determination in human behavior. So why do you think DC and Ryan developed this kind of theory? So according to them, they developed self-determination theory to understand the intrinsic end of the motivational spectrum. Also, the theory emphasizes the benefits of acting out of internal drives and assumes that the individual is able to take action based on the personal goals and values. That's according to them. That's why they developed self-determination theory. So now, let's discuss the self-determination theory. So, self-determination theory is a psychological framework for understanding human motivation. So from the word motivation, it is the things that can motivate you to do better in life. For example, in your job or whatever you want to do that can keep you motivated. And also this theory has three basic psychological needs, the autonomy, competence, and relatedness. And in this moment, let's know what are the three basic needs of a human being. So the first one is the competence. So what is competence? So competence is that people need to gain mastery and control of their own lives and their environment. Or in short, people has control of their own lives. The second one is autonomy. So what is autonomy? So autonomy is that people need to feel in control of their own life, behaviors, and goals. So this is about choice. People has a choice to control their lives, behavior, and goals. So the third basic needs of human being is relatedness. So from the word relate, so being connected to each other and cared for each other. So again, the three basic needs of human being are competence, which is people has control of their own lives. Second is autonomy. People has a choice to control to control their lives, behaviors, and goals. And the last one is relatedness, being connected to each other and cared for each other. So now, let's discuss the two motivation of self-determination theory. So the first uh, motivation of self-determination theory is intrinsic motivation 
and the extrinsic motivation. So let's know what are the differences between the two. And now let's discuss the first motivation of self-determination theory. So the intrinsic motivation. So what is intrinsic motivation? So this motivation is doing a task that is for pleasure only. So for example, you hang out with friends because it's fun to do, not because you're forced to. So the intrinsic motivation is hang out. So you're having fun, enjoyment. Second, Sheena plays badminton because it's her coping mechanism if she is not in her mood. So the intrinsic motivation is plays badminton. Third, Nicole is always dancing because it's her passion. So the motivation is dancing. Anna and Ami are playing ML because it's their bonding moment. So the, in so the intrinsic motivation is playing ML. So again, intrinsic motivation is all about pleasure, enjoyment, having fun, and etc. So now, let's discuss the second motivation, which is the extrinsic motivation. So what is extrinsic motivation? So this motivation is doing a task in order to receive a reward. So this motivation, you are doing a task to receive a reward. Any kind of reward. It's either money, foods, dress, or whatever. So for example, if you eat your vegetables, you will get your dessert. You eat them to get the reward. So in this um, example, your reward is to get your dessert. Second, Mia and her family always go to church every Sunday and after they eat ice cream. So if Mia will go to the church, then her reward is the ice cream. And then the third one is Zyron is always studying hard and become an honor student and because of that, he gets a new phone from his parent as a reward. So, because Zyron is studying hard in school, his reward is having a new phone from his parents. So, that's the extrinsic motivation. Again, the extrinsic motivation is doing a task in order to receive a reward. While intrinsic motivation is doing a task for you, uh, doing a task that is for pleasure only. So that's the intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. So now let's discuss the types of extrinsic motivation and intrinsic motivation. So we all know that intrinsic motivation is doing a task that is for pleasure only while extrinsic motivation is doing a task in order to receive a reward. So the types of extrinsic motivation are, uh, there are four types of extrinsic, in, intrinsic motivation. The first one is the external regulation, second interjected regulation, third identified regulation, and integrated regulation. So internal regulation is about the external rewards, so reward or punishment. Introjected regulation is somewhat external and compulsion, contingent, and self-esteem. Identified regulation is somewhat internal, so con consciously valued goals. Integrated regulation is internal, so values fully assimilated into self. Into the next motivation which is the intrinsic motivation has only one type which is the intrinsic regulation so what is intrinsic regulation so it is internal so pure interest curiosity challenges and enjoyment this is the extrinsic versus intrinsic so extrinsic is the boy with the yellow t-shirt so his goal is to finish a task and has a reward the boy with the white t-shirt is the intrinsic that he has a task for pleasure only
This is another example of intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. So, in intrinsic motivation are all about enjoyment, purpose, growth, curiosity, passion, self-expression, fun, interest, sense of achievement, growth, satisfaction, and purpose. While in the extrinsic motivation are promotions, benefits, prizes, winning, bonuses, money, approval from others, avoidance of punishment, guilt, obligation, pressure from others, and many more. So that's the differences between intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation. That's all for today. Thank you for listening and hope you can learn something. This is Maribel Ibornia signing off.